Hello friends, welcome to Airdrop Spot. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with Fogo Fawcett. Now, due to the requirement that they put up, many people will not be able to claim tokens from the faucet and that is because the Solana wallet you will be collect connecting needs to have a minimum balance of one soul. Okay, so that is too high for majority. And in this video, I am going to be showing you an alternative route for you to get test tokens, although it is much more longer. Okay, so to get started, we are going to be claiming Ethereum Cipolia from Fawcett. You are going to find link to this Fawcett in the comment section. And once you have your Ethereum Cipolia, we are going to head over to Uniswap. And on that profile uh, picture, click on that and then click on that setting icon. Now you are going to see testnet mode, switch that button on. And once the button is on, go back to the swap interface and swap some Sepolia Ethereum into USDC. Search for USDC and click on the one that is on top. Now swap your Sepolia for USDC. I'll be swapping 0.2 Sepolia for USDC. I'll click on review and then complete the transaction in my wallet. Now that I have uh, USDC on Ethereum Sepolia, I'll head over to Portal Bridge and I will be bridging my uh, Sepolia USDC over to Solana. So I'll be setting my uh, source chain and source token. I'll click on that plus icon then scroll until I see Sepolia. And for token, I'll choose USDC. For receiver chain and token, I'll click on that, that drop down. Then I will choose Solana as the chain and USDC as the token. Now at this stage you have to connect both your Ethereum wallet and your Phantom wallet. So I will be bridging my Cipolia, my USDC on Cipolia over to Solana and I will click on confirm. I'll confirm the transaction in my MetaMask. Now this transaction takes 18 minutes for you to get your USDC on Solana. So I'll be back after 18 minutes. I am back. Transaction is completed. I'll click on start a new transaction. We are not leaving this DAP yet. And this time my source chain and token will be Solana while my receiver chain and token will be Fogo. Now you have to ensure that that toggle switch at the bottom is uh, turned on. In case this is your first time trying to bridge over to Fogo, you will need some gas fee. So this ensures that as your USDC is arriving on Fogo, a little gas fee is also arriving on Fogo as well because you will need it later. This transaction doesn't take more than 5 minutes at all. Everything we have been doing so far was to be able to get uh, find an alternative way to get test tokens on Fogo and from this moment onward is where Fogo testnet tutorial actually starts. So we are going to visit Valiant Trade, Valiant.trade slash trade. You'll find all the links of every dab that I interact with in the comment section for your convenience. So on this tab, we are going to connect Nightly Wallet. Now ensure that the same seed phrase is imported in your Solana, your Phantom Wallet and your Nightly Wallet. You would need to connect Nightly from now on because uh, your Fogo address is different from your Solana address. So this is uh, my, your, my Fogo address that you are seeing right here. This is different from my Solana and you can see the USDC that we bridged over to Fogo. You can see it right here. So uh, on their swap interface, we are going to be swapping USDC over to Fogo. If you connect Phantom Wallet, you will not see the tokens that you bridged over from Portal Bridge. That is why I recommend that you connect nightly, please. Okay, so I will be swapping my USDC over to Fogo. I'll be swapping 1000 out of my entire balance. And one thing about this website is the fact that you are not going to get any uh, confirmation in wallet. Once you click on trade, the transaction is instantly completed. That is crazy because this is the fastest transaction I have ever done in my life. The transaction is completed. 
I now have 151 USDC left instead of 1000 plus that I had before and my Fogo balance have increased. You can make more swaps between tokens. Now I will head over to their pool tab that is pool beside trade. And on this tab I will be adding Fogo and USDC pair to the liquidity pool. Once you click on that there will be a new pop up by the right. And you are going to enter the amount of FOGO that you want to add to the liquidity pool. Once you enter the amount for one token, uh, the amount for the other token will be automatically displayed. You should stay on the full tab for simplicity. But if you want something more complicated, you can simply just tap on that custom. And when you tap on custom, you have to set all the criteria by yourself. But for simplicity's sake, we are going to switch back to full. So once you enter the amount of one token that you want to add, the amount of the other token is automatically displayed. Then we are going to click on the deposit. Like I said earlier, there will be no wallet confirmation. Once you click on the deposit, the transaction is completed immediately and that is it. If you want to see your liquidity pool history, click on positions beside pools. And then you can see this is the pair that I just added to liquidity and that is uh, Fogo and USDC. So we are going to move on to the next thing. We are going to be trading meme coins. We are going to visit Fogo.fluxbeam.xyz. Click on close, then go to the sidebar menu and click on login. Now choose select wallet, open that drop down. And then choose nightly wallet connect your wallet now this is their swap interface and we are going to be swapping between the available token on this page there is no other token aside usdc fusd and fogo so i will be swapping between the tokens that are available i'll be swapping some fogo for fusd I will swap one for going to FUSD and then I'll confirm the transaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. Now if you go to smart money on this tab, this is where you monitor which tokens whales are buying or which tokens they are selling. And then you can use the insights to make your own buying decision. Although I don't think any of the tokens listed here are actually real, especially because we are on testnet, I think they are just there for display. So that is it about the smart money feature. We are going to visit tools. There are some tasks over there, but out of all the tasks that are here, I think it is only the version 1 token creation that is working. And that is what we are going to focus on in this video. The rest of the tasks were failing. So here we want to create our own token. We are going to enter the token name, symbol, description, and just leave the supply as it is. And next I will be entering a profile picture, a logo, so to say, for my token. So just pick any random picture in your phone gallery and then complete the transaction in your wallet. Our token have been successfully created. That is the one on top FFG. And if you want to make your token uh, tradable on Fluxbeam, you have to tap on create pool and add some liquidity so that uh, the token can be tradable. But on this page, when I tried adding liquidity, you can see the transaction was failing. I clicked on pool creation task itself. Maybe it will work if I try it from this page. And I tried to add some liquidity so that we can make FFG, which is a token I created, tradable. But the transaction was still failing as well. I don't know, maybe it is because the amount of tokens I was adding is small. But then it is not that easy to get test tokens. So I do not have a lot of tokens to deposit. I don't know what the issue is. But then I am not surprised because every other tra uh, task on that page was failing. The only task that worked is a uh, token creation so i'll just leave flux beam and then we are going to head over to rockcheck.xyz on this uh website there is no uh on-chain transaction to be completed you just want to come and analyze token so we are going to click on that drop down and then change our chain over to fogo from solana and then you're going to find the search button, then tap on it and paste the contract address of any token in order to find out details about that token. 
Because we don't have any token at hand that we can use, I went to the sidebar menu, I clicked on tokens and then I'm going to look for any token that looks like it is on Fogo chain. I saw this one, then I clicked on that token. And what I want to do is not to read the token analysis here, but I want to click on the address of this token so that I can also verify it. And that is what I did. I clicked on the copy icon. I pasted the address here and then it is, it, it is currently analyzing the token. And here is the analysis result, same as what we saw when I got here in the first place. So, so that it won't be as if we are just using tokens that are already verified on this website. I went back to Fluxbeam on Smart Money page and I clicked on the copy icon of a random token here. You can make use of any token so that I can copy their contract address. After copying the contract address, I went back to rockcheck.xyz. And I pasted the address of the token that I copied from Fluxbeam. I clicked on check. I waited for it to do the analysis and everything, but unfortunately, it could not get the analysis on any token that I copied on Fluxbeam. That is why I said I don't think that the tokens displayed on Fluxbeam Smart Money is actually real at the moment. Initially, I did not even want to post this video because the dApps that we are interacting with are full of too many glitches. But then I have been working on it since Saturday. It was supposed to be out on Saturday actually, but then out of the blues, some things won't just work and all of that. But it is understandable because Fogo Testnet is barely two weeks old. So there will be too many glitches just as I have experienced. And if you experience that on your end, please note that it is perfectly normal. Just keep trying until you are able to do whatever transaction that you want to do. So we also have Byron and we have Ambient Finance that we are supposed to interact with, but they are not yet available on Fogo Testnet. So maybe in the coming weeks, Okay, these platforms will be available to test on Fogo Testnet and there will be more dApps by then to interact with on Fogo Testnet. So we have come to the end of today's video. If you have any question on Fogo Testnet, do drop me a comment in the comment section. And if you have found value in one way or another in this video, please like this video so that it can also get to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another tutorial.